Hi, it's LaShawn. If you've just found my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting me here on LaShawn's Lifestyle. I truly do appreciate that so, so much. So, we're going to hop right into my debt snowball update. And this is for the month of June. So, if you're interested in how well I have done so far, then please continue watching. All right, so I'm at the uh, page where I've designated for my debt, uh, the section, and um, the budget kit that I am using for the month of June is by Uniquely Sean. I have her link down below in the description box if you are interested in any of her products. She is on Etsy, and also you can see her uh, products on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into the numbers for June. And um, for those of you who may be new, um, and then for my OGs, my A1 since day ones, you all know that I utilize the somewhat modified version of the debt snowball. Um, I just make it work for me, and that's just the way budgets should be. You make it work to you know you you format it to make it work for you whatever's best for your coins you know your household that's what you have to do so the first thing um, i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and put down my little headers um that i capture um i capture different things than most and i th again your budget is geared to what makes sense for you, what makes it easier for you to understand, uh, what makes it easier for you to stay focused on it each month. So what I may capture may not be what you capture. Um, but again, I always say, you know, there's no right or wrong way to budget. What's wrong is, is not budgeting at all. So as long as you budget, however you budget, that's what's important. Okay, so I've gotten my headers down and I am down to two creditors. Oh, I'm gonna pull you guys in a little bit so you can see. Um, I'm down to two creditors that I'm working on right now for my consumer debt. And that um, it will be, and those two are American Express Gold and American Express Go is my current debt focus. And um, I am currently at 2000 or was at $2,140.36. And my payment, my minimum payment that really isn't my minimum, my minimum is very, very much low. But I started out at 165, so I just kept that as a minimum payment. So I pay 165 as a minimum, and then I put an additional $500 this month towards my debt, so or towards American Express Gold. So that um, payment came out to $665, no charges, and the finance fee for the month. $51.19. So I am down another digit. Um, I am down to $1,526.55. Yay me. Now that is a little bit more than where I should have been at this point because I wanted to, my goal is to pay this off in July. So I should have been down uh, a lot further than this. However, I was, I had embarked on some, ch uh, some savings challenges and they really, the one that I was on, it really started to eat away at what I was using to put towards debt. And I was like, you know, I want to get rid of debt. It's great to save. And I do save that I have other uh, mechanisms that I'm able to utilize to save by that's automatic, things of that nature. Um, but I can get, I can hop back on that. Once I get rid of the debt again, you're getting rid of, you know, this minimum payment that's going towards something that, 
I'm not saving. It's, uh, you know, I, okay, I bought the things on the car, so I need to pay this stuff off. So I just felt it was more important to focus on the goal at hand that I was really trying to set because I've been in, on this debt uh, elimination journey for a while now. And um, I can go hard and heavy on savings challenges after I've really honed in and gotten rid of uh, at least, you know, these two debts. I can hone in a little bit more on savings. So I had to pull back from the savings challenge to get to where I need to be. So I may be off a month now um, due to that, but that's okay. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I can get this done um, in July. I'm just trying to figure out what I can pull from, what I can shut off in order to do this so we shall see but that is where i am y'all 1526.55 so the end is near for american express goal okay and then my second snowball i um item in my debt snowball is uh bbba compass and again i have set a goal of paying off these both by november of this year so I'm currently at uh, $7,280.59. The minimum payment was $715.53. No charges. And the finance amount for this month, $55.24. So I'm down another digit. So I'm down to $6,000. Six hundred twenty dollars and thirty cents. So yeah, totally um, liking the way these numbers are starting to look. It's looking mighty fine, y'all. Mighty fine. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and add these. Total these up. And I started at nine thousand four hundred twenty dollars and ninety five cents. I paid a total this month on my consumer debt at $1,380.53, no charges. My finance amount, $106.43, and I am ending at $8,146.85. So yeah, it is really, it's just going away so quickly and I am so happy. So that is my consumer debt, what it is looking like right now. I'm feeling, you know, super stoked that this is going to be gone super duper soon. All right, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at my student loans. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and write up uh, my headers again and these head. Um, the header for my student loans are a little bit different, so that's why I do two. Because I don't have to capture charges on here because there are no charges. So we go from payment and then we go to finance. And right now there's no finance, we know, for those who have federal loans. And then we got to have the ending, what we're ending with. All right, so I have two loans, but one creditor. So I separate those out because that is how I pay them when I go in online. I like to make sure I designate where the money is going for what loan. So I just call them A and B, and um, the creditor is Ed Financial. So for A, I'm starting at $3,628 made a payment of $35. Even though I don't have to, I just continue to pay on that. Of course, right now it's in forbearance, so there is no uh, ch uh, finance fee, and I'm currently at $3,593 even. And then there's Ed Financial B, and Ed Financial B, I started at $10,180. I pay $75 towards that. There again, no finance fee, and I'm at 
$105 even. And that's getting super close to being under uh, down to four digits and out of the five digits. So super stoked about that as well. So we're going to go ahead and total these up. And I started at 13 13,000 getting tongue tied. 13,698 dollars even. I pay $110 monthly on these both. Again, no finance charge for now. And I'm currently sitting at $13,698. On Ed Financial for the two loans. So let's go ahead and see what our overall debt looks like, debt payment looks like for now. So we're going to put debt paid. And again, you don't have to do all of this. Um, I capture it just so I just have a bird's eye overview of what I did, what actually, you know, came out of my account towards the debt. So yeah, so I that's why I do it. So I paid on my consumer debt, I paid $1,380.53 plus $110 even on my student loan debt. And that puts me at a total of $1,490.53 is what got paid on my debt for the month of June. So I am super stoked. These numbers are coming down and I'm feeling, uh, feeling like I'm going to feel accomplished. I'm feeling like I'm going to feel accomplished, uh, in a, in a couple of months. So yeah, so that is my debt snowball update for the month of June. And uh, if you have followed me and stayed along the journey, I do appreciate that. If you've lasted this long in this video, thank you so, so, so much. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And guys, go ahead, spam that comment section. Get those likes up. YouTube is super tripping with my channel. I don't know what's going on. But anywho, yeah, um, until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.